Genesis chapter 1 says simply that God created each according to his kind. In preparation for the global flood in Noah's day, God directed that representative members of each kind of the land animal and flying creatures to be taken into the ark. Each kind has the genetic potential for great variety. Thus there are reportedly more than 400 different breeds of dogs and upwards 250 breeds and types of horses. All interfertile varieties of any animal are just one genesis kind. Similarly, all varieties of humans, Oriental, Africans, Caucasians, bows as tall as the seven foot Inca in Sudan and as short as the four foot inch pygmy stem from the one original pair, Adam and Eve. So, that defined, um, that defined uh, varieties as an animal of just one kind, um, infertile varieties. So, that sen that's talking about speci speciation. That's talking about like difference between the marine iguana and the, the, the um, green iguana. That's saying that they're pretty much that animals can evolve within their kind. They don't go out of their kind, right? I mean, what, what, what does that mean to you? I understand that to see each kind has gen genetic potential for great variety. Right. So that's like, that's like saying, you know, that like, um, Dogs, the difference between like a wolf and a chihuahua, that, that's accepting that. that. That animals evolve slightly within their kind, but they don't transition to a different kind. That, that's what that's saying, right? What it's saying is that they made it with their kind and produced. Yeah, but it okay. wasn't. I, I'm just trying yeah. to, to make sure you understand. Yeah. Like, that's, we're all understanding it. That's what that means, right? That the animals have variation within their kind. Right, yeah, okay. right. Okay, so that's what that's saying. Um, okay, and, and uh, one of, another one of your publications. Well, hold, let me go back to that now. Just say, um, if a human made it with a horse, would it have an offspring? No, that, because that's not what evolution teaches. That's a, uh, it's a, no, no offense. I mean, it's, I mean, it's I not understand a, that, but, but, yeah, but, but it, that's a, I mean, no offense because yeah. uh, most people don't, but that's a gross mm -hmm. misunderstanding of evolution. Yeah. That's, that's not how it works. It works is like, um, o over time, it, the animal changes so much, it adapts to its environment so much that it can't, put, it can't go back to its, its original species. Like I, I had given him some literature. Mm -hmm. We found fossil record of reptiles and mammals mixed mm -hmm. into one species. Chickens are the closest in living reptiles to, to dinosaurs. Chickens have a, a gene, a recessive gene to grow teeth. We, I mean, we, we can see transitional forms. But, and, and another one of your, your your publications, Insight on the Scriptures. Do you have that mm -hmm. with you? Uh, on volume one, you can look it up if you want, page 327. Some, this is quoted. Some investigators have said that just 43 kinds of mammals could have produced the great variety of species on the ark and are known today from the ark. It's talking about the, on the ark. Now, that, that's saying the most that there could be was 43 different kinds of mammals on the ark. Present day scientists, being conservative and mod moderate, estimate to put the present number of mammals, I mean, you can look this up too, at 4,000. This means animal kinds have increased to 4,000 in just 4,380 4, years. That was, uh, that was in year 4,380. Uh, no, yeah, that was, so that means that it increased 4,380. That's, that's 16,000 times faster than, than scientists gauge evolution today. Okay, my question is, is going to come back. What, how can I put it? Um, but, with, with the Bible, I'm just trying to fi figure out what, uh, what are we talking about? Because see, because you in order the for the ark to be true, okay. in order for that story to be true, that had to increase uh, 
<laughs> I mean, it's increased from from around fifty to to four thousand, and just four thousand three hundred eighty years. Well, let me ask you a question. That's an impossible. Okay. Well, let me ask you a question. We would have observed it. No, now, how many people was on the ark? Um, I, I'm not sure. It was like seven, eight, eight, eight. And, and that brings up another another fundamental point. I, I had asked you one time about Adam and Eve with, with the interbreeding and how they wouldn't become mutation because you, you have to have variation within your, your DNA. That's what causes mutation within interbreeding, like a, a son, a, a mother, mm -hmm. or a father. That Because it, since the DNA and mm -hmm. the, the, everything is so similar, there's not enough variation and it causes mutation. So. And you had given me the explanation that the, the brain, the human brain, was, was perfect. They were perfect back then, so they were using 100% of their, their brain that we don't use today. You, you, after, after they sinned, when they started having kids. That's, when, that's when we stopped using, so, yeah. you know, at, but at that time, you gave the explanation, we were 100%. That's what, you know, that's an explanation of why. But they were closer to perfection. Right. But Noah wasn't. And no. with just eight people, but they were closer. They were closer to perfection than we are. <laughs> but it's, I, I don't, I don't think in Noah's day, though, the brain has changed and the human body has changed that much to today. And with just eight people, if, if that that much interbreeding was going on, they would just it wouldn't survive. You wouldn't. You can't. You can't. The DNA is too close. The the, the mutations they would be born infertile and sterile. And they, they it's not today. It's not uh, not born. But, but you, you, two parents. You, you have to. Two you have to. What I'm saying is, you have to explain how eight people populated what we have today. I'm saying it's not okay. possible. Well, let me put the it DNA, like the DNA variation. Okay. Now, nor well, let me start off with Adam and Eve. Within their uh, genes, they had the genes that produce all colors of people. Okay. I, I don't. I don't believe they do. Why not? Because it, it, I, I think it. I think race went back further than, than Noah's day. Well, let me see. The point is what we're talking about. Race had to start with two people, but, Adam but, and Eve. But, but so, I mean, so you believe humans existed? You know, literally, what was it, four to six thousand years ago, and that's when we were created. When Adam and Eve was created, and so we 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 have fossil evidence <clears throat> that dates back millions of years. If you if you do your research again, you will find that uh, you may not have that evidence. It's just uh, like uh, not I, I, do, I mean, could you okay, source? Okay, I tell you what, you found evidence of dinosaurs, right? You found the whole skeleton yeah. remain of dinosaurs. Yeah. How about humans? We you don't heard? find we don't find humans next to dinosaurs. No, no, no. I'm talking about uh, what's the pill pills down the, what, the, the pill. pill down uh, person they found in England. Uh, I'm not familiar. It was, with what it's a, uh, it was supposed to be a prehistoric man they found. Well, I mean, just just just. And they found that it was a hoax. But but that, that that's irrelevant though because just no, just discrediting discrediting. Okay. One and that and see that's uh -huh. that's another point that that this book brought up that how the media constantly has debunked um, missing links. Well, first off. Missing link, that, that's not a correct term. It's not a scientific term, that's a media term. And people claiming that it's a missing link proves that it's a media term because scientists, they, they don't view it as a missing link. It's just one more, it just closes the gap, makes it that much smaller. Because we, we, and we, we have, just because you debunk one, that doesn't discount for the hundreds of other ones. That we have, have they found? Lucy, a, yeah, I mean. That, have they um, found well, a skeleton of a Extraordinary. Oh yeah, Where? hundreds. Uh, Lucy is the last one. Uh, I mean, I, I can I can show you the on the internet. The point is, what we found. We, we have the yeah. evidence. Okay. It's just there. So, the uh, the Bible help us to appreciate that the first human pair was Adam and Eve. Okay. Right. From them, everyone else uh, came into being. Okay. Uh, uh, it's not possible. How, how, because with the, they would just be having mutant babies. Well, that's, I mean, that's, that's, where we, that's where we differ, yeah, Mike. Yeah. That's why how, do you, how do you explain about Noah, then? Okay, that's, that's where we differ. Yeah. This, this is all I had to go yeah. by. I'm so, not, this is all I had to go by. If, if we can't 
come to agreement on the Bible. That's 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 what we're going by. That's what Almighty God, the Creator, that's what He has said. Mm -hmm. That Adam and Eve was the start of the human race. That's that's what that was His divine command for them to be fruitful and multiply. But so, but to go beyond to to bring in human thinking with this, that's. So you just have to rely on your faith. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you Definitely. remember how long have you known that? How long has man known that Earth was round? Oh, uh, they estimate it was. Do you know? I don't know how long. Oh, it's like I want to say 16 million, but I'm not sure. It's no, no. I'm, uh, 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 actually, it's it's billions. The, no, the no. Earth how long? For billions. No, no. How long has they known that the Earth itself was a circular sphere? Oh, it, it's been billions. Oh, uh, how long have we known yeah. that since uh, Galileo? Okay, how long have you been knowing that it wasn't hinging on nothing? No, what? I mean, it wasn't on a turtle, yeah. on an elephant, all that kind of stuff. Oh, um, before Galileo, we knew that. The Bible telling you here that it was always like that. Yeah, and that but, was before. But I mean, look, look at the Mayans. The Mayans knew about Pluto. We didn't know about Pluto until like the 1970s. Well, the man. So it's possible that, that that they did have that information. With that not because be, you have to remember that man wrote the Bible. Well, do, do that also not telling you that uh, when people were perfect, and that they could do things and they uh, they could build things like the pyramids. To this day, people cannot tell you how they build But, but that, that doesn't mean we should make it up because we don't understand. You're right. But the point is, all this is in Scripture. I mean, see, the point is, uh, it goes with faith and what the I, I asked him earlier, how, yeah. how do you define faith? Faith. What, what is your definition of faith? What does the word mean? Is the assured expectations of things thought for. In other words, what I, faith is believing because of facts. No, what no, is it? no, it's not. Because of facts. Yep, this is fact. And here, is and fact? We, we looked it up. And here, it's said uh, the definition of faith. Hebrews 11, 1. Yeah. It's Hebrews 11, right, 1. Right. We'll, we'll read it. Yes, me, mine. Well, does it differ from the Bible's definition no, of faith? No, no. But the point is, it's a translation of it. What I'm just saying is faith to me. Yeah. What, what, what page? 1501. 1501. It's the same thing. It's evident. Right. It's, it's evident demonstration. Right. Let, me, let me read that. Faith is assured expectation of things hoped for. The evident demonstration of realities, though not be held. Right. So that means believing without evidence. The, the, the part of the evident demonstration, which means the, the, being able to demonstrate that, that it's that means even though we don't see it yeah even that's, though that's that's why that's why i'm telling you like i believe that we're in the last days of this world as we know it based on the bible i know that almighty god is going to intercede in order to bring us back to his original purpose that has not been fulfilled having perfect human beings living forever on a clean spirit i serve but so it's it's belief in something even though you don't see the evidence right you know, but you know I, it. I see the evidence. He, he gave us a sign. But that, said, that, I, that's I, how it, I, it says. Know. But what does it mean when it, it says it said evidence reality? Demonstration reality not be held. Yeah. What does that mean? See, I, I can see it with my mind's eye. I can see that it's happening. It's saying reality is not be held. That means it's not there. Okay. Because it, it hasn't happened, but I know it's going to come. So, what if you see evidence to the contrary? Like what? Okay. Like yeah. Like well, the, the the fossil evidence, the the the, the um, you know, mi uh, micro evolution evidence. Um, we've observed we've observed viruses, you know, evolve. We, I mean, so if it's evidence to the contrary, are you just supposed to turn a blind eye to that? Because we have the transitional species between humans to apes. We have those fossils. We we can see it, and the tw humans had twenty three pairs of chromosomes. Now let's let me ask you this. If is killing wrong? 